Water undergoes state changes that can be observed in everyday life. These changes are a result of changes in temperature. Melting is the process of water changing from a solid to a liquid. This happens at 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Examples of this are ice cubes melting in a cup of water, or snow slowly being absorbed by the soil. Boiling is the process of water changing from a liquid to a gas. This happens at 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Evaporation is the process of water turning from a liquid to a gas or water vapor. This is not the same as boiling, because evaporation only occurs in the surface of the liquid and it can occur at room temperature. Boiling affects the entire mass of the liquid. Solar energy will evaporate water from bodies of water such as oceans, lakes, and rivers, as well as moisture in the soil. Freezing is the process of water turning from a liquid to a solid. This happens at 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Condensation is the process of a gas turning into a liquid. This is what creates clouds. Water vapor from evaporation is cooled at higher altitudes to create water droplets. Let's take a look at a few content statements. Water can undergo processes such as melting, evaporating, boiling, and condensation. Temperature changes can cause water to change states, such as a solid, liquid, or gas. Fun fact! The freezing point and the melting point is the same temperature. The same also goes for the boiling point and the condensation point. Thank you for watching.